let us look here. Students, let us discuss about another concept in the three-dimensional world. It's a plane. Now, after knowing the what that is DCS and DRS, and little bit idea about the 3D coordinate system, let us discuss about a concept in a space. It's a plane. What's a plane? Plane is nothing but a surface. Plane is nothing but a surface. So, plane is a surface in which the line segment joining the two points on it lies wholly on it. What is that? A plane is a surface such that the line segment joining the two points on it lies only on it. That is called a plane. So, therefore, no plane is nothing but definition of plane. Plane is a surface. Surface, okay. Surface such that such that the line segment joining the two points on it lies only on it is called a plane. So, when we discuss about the plane as a surface, plane is a surface in which the line joining of the segment joining the two points on it only lies on the what? Surface is called what? Plane. When you, when you have defined plane as a surface, plane you cannot see. You can identify plane through a normal. What is a normal? A normal is a line which is perpendicular to each and every lines which are lying in that plane. What is a normal? Normal is a line which is perpendicular to each and every lines which are lying in a plane. And meanwhile, all the normals to the planes which are always parallel to each other. If I take this as a plane, if I take this as a what normal, so if I want to say that this line as a normal, this must be perpendicular, this plane may contain one line or two lines or three lines or any number of lines. For all those, this line is perpendicular to it. Every such lines we call it as what normals. So, now the thing is, all the normals to a plane are always parallel to each other. So, therefore, every such line we call it as normal. Okay, we call it as normal. What is a normal? Normal to a plane. Normal to a plane. The line which is perpendicular to the lines in the plane is called normal and all the normals to a plane are always parallel to each other, parallel to each other. That line we call it as what? Normal. Let us see what is the general equation of a plane. How do you represent a plane with a general first degree equations? in x, y and z. The first degree the first degree 
first equation in x comma y comma z is a x plus b y plus c z is equal to 0 represents a plane where a comma b comma c is not equal to 0 comma 0 means ordered triple is not equal to 0 comma 0 means at a time all cannot take the values 0 comma 0 a may be 0 b may be 0 but c cannot be 0 b may be 0 c may be 0 a cannot be equal to 0 right so therefore a may be 0 a can a and b may be 0 c is not equal to 0 the thing is at a time the ordered triple is not equal to what 0 right so let us see then when the first degree equation in x comma y comma z ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 represents a plane where a comma b comma c is not equal to what 0 not equal to 0 let us take the proof of this one is let let ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 be the be the equation of a plane you take on this what is plane it's a surface surface is such that a line segment joining the two points a of x1 y1 z1 b of x2 y2 z2 on it lies wholly on it means it must lay on a what plane then that surface is a what plane we call it as now I am going to select with the equation of plane. Let P of x1 comma y1 comma z1 or A of x1 y1 y1 z1 and B of x2 y2 z2 be two points on the plane on the plane. Then one implies ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d is equal to 0. On the same lines, I can also write ax2 by2 plus cz2 plus d is equal to 0. Call it as 3. Now, let us take this a point. This is A of x1, y1, z1, B of x2, y2, z2, right? Every, this board is about plane. On this plane, if this plane is, if you want to say this as a plane, it must be a surface. What is a surface? Surface is such that the line segment joining of the two points wholly lies on the what plane. Means, let us, you take a line segment in this surface. You take this as a lambda is to 1. Therefore, P is equal to internally, which divides internally what? A B. Now, lambda x2 plus x1 by lambda plus 1, lambda y2 plus y1 by lambda plus 1, lambda z2 plus z1 by lambda plus 1. So, now, this is the point which divides A B internally in the what ratio lambda is to 1 what all we have to show that this line segment lies wholly in the plane means what now substitute substitute p in what 1 so therefore 1 implies what is that that is a into lambda x2 plus x1 by lambda plus 1 b into lambda plus lambda y2 plus y1 by lambda plus 1 plus c into lambda z2 plus z1 by lambda plus 1 plus d is equal to 0. Now you cross multiply 
I can write this one as that is lambda into a x 2 next b y 2 c z 2 then you are cross multiplying lambda into this d lambda will come this is d plus the another one is there a x 1 I wrote this this bracket as a x a lambda x 2 b lambda y 2 c lambda z 2 d into lambda plus 1 means d lambda plus d. So, therefore, I can write this one as a x 1 b y 1 c z 1 plus d is equal to 0 because d lambda into that is d into lambda plus 1 d lambda plus d plus d i combined here d lambda i combined here by taking lambda as a common factor. So, therefore, now I can go for this one is now already we wrote from equation 2 and 3 what is this value 0 what is this value 0. So, therefore, I can write lambda into 0 next uh, 0 because already it is 0 is equal to 0 therefore, 0 is equal to 0. So, therefore, the line segment joining the two points a of x 1 y 1 z 1 uh, b of x 2 y 2 z 2 wholly lies on the word plane. Then we call it as a plane is a surface surface is such that the line segment joining the two points wholly lies on it. Yes, it lies on this because this segment satisfies what this equation then this equation becomes about equation of a plane. So, therefore, hereafter any first degree equation in x comma y comma z that is a x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to 0 represents the equation of a what plane equation of a plane. Hereafter a x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to 0 which represents the equation of a plane in a general form. If this equation, if this equation passes through the horizon, if one passes through horizon, if one passes through horizon, through the horizon, then one implies 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus d is equal to 0, which implies d is equal to 0. So, therefore, the equation of plane passing through passing through the origin is a given by a x plus b y plus c z is equal to 0. A x plus b y plus c z is equal to 0. This represents the general equation of a straight line that to first degree general first degree equation x y comma z and not having a constant it passes through what origin. Now, the general equation of a straight line a x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to 0 can also be written in the other form. How? A x plus b y plus d z c z is equal to minus d. I can write this one as that is minus a by d or else plus a by d into x next b by d into y c by d into z is equal to minus 1. So, therefore, which implies that is put this can written as a x this can written as b y this is c z plus 1 is equal to 0 you call it as 1. So, therefore, this is in a standard form you can very well observe you can very well observe to find the equation of a plane in a general form, you must have the what three conditions or else you must give the three points to find the what equation of a plane. Why? How many unknowns are there? 
a b c number of unknowns is equal to number of equations therefore to find the equation of a plane you must have the three conditions okay let us see what are the conditions in detail okay students after knowing the what general equation of a straight line as ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 later we wrote it as what a capital ax capital by capital cz plus 1 is equal to 0 you have three unknowns you must have minimum three condition to find the capital a comma b comma c then you can get equation of a plane despite that we have some more conditions to identify the equation of a plane in a general form among them few of them the conditions to find the equation of a plane we need at least three conditions we need at least three conditions next a plane is a represented by a linear equation means ax plus by plus cz plus 1 is equal to 0 or ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 and in the variables x comma y comma z which is satisfied by every point on it how it may have one point it may have two points let it be any number of points it must satisfy the, all those points which contains next the intersection of two planes is a line so therefore now if i take a two planes like this now this line is nothing but this point of intersection we call it as what come on line it's a 3d straight line okay 3d straight line so therefore next there exists a unique plane containing any three non-collinear points as i told in the capital ax capital by plus cz plus 1 is equal to 0 you have three unknowns to find out that you must have any three non-collinear points next a particular plane a particular plane can be specified in many ways some of them are so therefore one and only one plane can be drawn through non-collinear points okay as i told to find a b c you must have three conditions here also through non-collinear point they should not lie on a same line okay when they doesn't lie on the same line then only one plane passes through them then we call it as unique plane one and only one plane can be drawn through the what three non-collinear points and one and only one plane can be drawn through the what concurrent lines when three lines are given when they have the same point of concurrence point of concurrence then we call it as what concurrent lines okay so therefore one and only one plane can be drawn through what concurrent lines next one and only one plane can be drawn perpendicular to a given direction at a given distance from the what horizon only one plane with the what given direction and a given distance from the what horizon next one and only one plane can be drawn through a given point and perpendicular to the given direction perpendicular to given direction hence the point on the plane and the normal to the plane specify a what particular plane all those so therefore all these conditions must be satisfied by what ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to zero or else when you have converted them as capital ax plus by plus cz plus one is equal to zero that equation first degree equation i mean general equation to represent a particular plane it has to satisfy all these conditions right thank you